Hi, today I'll be doing a detailed comparison of GoodNotes and Notability, platforms that many students, digital planners and productivity lovers have been waiting for to know about. Both are powerhouses in the world of digital note-taking, but which one should you choose this year? I'll walk you through a full overview, the standout features, the pricing, the pros and cons and of course a final conclusion. Let's dive in. We'll kick things off with GoodNote 6. It's the latest evolution of the fan favorite note taking app, originally built for iPad and Apple Pencil users, but now expanding into a broader ecosystem. It's known for its realistic handwriting experience, customizable paper templates, and highly intuitive UI. GoodNotes has long been favored in academic circles, from college students annotating PDFs to law students organizing case notes. In version 6, it now offers AI-powered writing suggestions, document scanning, audio transcription and even math problem solving. It's trying to be more than a notebook, it's becoming a true productivity tool. On the other side, we have Notability, which also started as a premium note-taking app tailored for Apple devices. What makes Notability stand out early on was its audio recording sync feature, something GoodNotes lacked for a long time. That means you can record lectures or meetings while you jot down notes and later tap a word to hear what was being said at that exact moment. Over time though, Notability evolved with features like subject tagging, handwriting recognition and digital planning tools. It focuses heavily on fluid multitasking, media rich notes and accessibility. Now let us talk about the main features of both platforms. We start with good notes. AI Writing Tool It suggests edits for your handwriting, similar to a grammar assistant. Math Assistance It solves handwritten equations and visualize graphs. Collaboration Mode You can invite others to co-edit a notebook in real time. Custom Notebooks You can choose from paper types, colors, covers and more. PDF Annotations You can import and mark up PDFs with highlighters, shapes and pens. Flashcards integration. It has built-in spaced repetition for students. Cross-platform syncing. It is now available on iOS, Mac, Windows and Android. And there are tabs for multitasking because you can open multiple notebooks or documents side by side. How about the features of Notability? Audio recording with Note Sync. Multi-node view. You can view two notes side by side. You can also custom stickers and templates because it has drag and drop media and personalized planning tools. You can convert handwriting to editable text with a single tap. With the presentation mode, you can turn your iPad into a digital whiteboard. And there are color coded folders, the search feature and the favorites for fast access. You can also launch instant notes from the lock screen. Now both apps support Apple Pencil 2 double tap functionality and they offer infinite canvas support. But the difference is GoodNotes links into academic tools while Notability caters more to creative and audio centric workflows. Now what is the pricing like? For GoodNotes there's a free version that is available on Apple, on iOS and Windows. Then there are paid versions. The most popular plan is the all platforms yearly. There's also a one-time payment for Apple and there's Android and Windows yearly. There's also the good notes for business, which is 50 US dollars per device when billed annually. And there's also good notes for enterprise, where you can request a quote when you talk to the salesperson. How about Notability? Notability also has a free version and you can use it on the mobile app. But of course there are paid versions. There's a Notability Starter and the Notability Plus. What are the pros and cons of using both platforms? We start with the pros. For good notes, exceptional handwriting accuracy. AI tools like grammar correction and math help. It is great for structured note taking and academic workflows. There's a free version and a one-time payment option. And there are built-in flashcards for studying. For notability, seamless audio recording with synchronized notes playback. It is better for fast, fluid, informal note taking. It is great for educators, creatives and planners. How about the cons? For GoodNotes, there is no native audio recording 
and some features are still in beta on Android and Windows. The collaboration can be buggy in real-time edits. How about the cons of notability? There is no lifetime purchase, just subscription. And there are less robust organization features when compared to GoodNotes. Then the AI and academic tools are minimal compared to GoodNotes. So which one wins in 2025? It depends on how you take notes actually. If you are a student who relies on structure, diagrams, studying flashcards or solving math problems, GoodNotes 6 is likely your best bet. The AI enhancement, the customizability and lifetime license makes it a serious long-term tool for academic success. But if you're someone who needs to capture ideas fast, record meetings or lectures, or jump between projects without overthinking layout and structure, Notability definitely shines. It's responsive, creative, and feels more like a digital sketchbook with a brain. And that's it on the comparison between GoodNote 6 and Notability. If you're looking to try other alternatives, you may explore Note Shelf, Microsoft OneNote, and Color Notes. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.